here in Samsung, Turkey. Uh, it's a, an interesting way that they uh, draw this one. It's a kind of an exhibition match because it will be India who ended the season top of the rankings up against Turkey, the host nation. I'm uh, Karen Bashir and joining me is uh, Chef Vandenberg, Dutch international archer. Uh, but before we get to Chef's valuable insight, let's welcome the athletes for the mixed team event out onto the field of play. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the compound mixed team final. Bayanlar baylar, Makaralıyay mix takım final maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target number one, representing India. Bir numaralı hele, Hindistan. Yoki Venam. Abhishek Verma. On target number two, representing Turkey. İki numaralı hede, Türkiye. Yeşim Bostan. Demir Elmaç. Line judge for this match is... Maçın çizgi hakemi. Alexandra Vecchio Passerini. Turkey, you are shooting first, okay? India, you are shooting second. Target two shooting first. Range is clear. Start the match. So here we go. It's the mixed team compound event here in Samson, and we are playing for the gold medal and the world title. Turkey, the host nation will shoot first, then they're going up against India, but it is kind of an exhibition match, Chef. It is, yeah. Normally um, normally you you walk up to the, the finals, and you have uh, multiple rounds of elimination, and now um, it's uh, the host nation against the number one mixed team of the World Cup season, so um, you pretty much go in cold. Yeah. Well, sort of, because uh, Esh in Boston has uh, already... Uh, had some experience of the field of play here, having yeah. competed in the individual tournament a little bit earlier on today. Yeah, very true. She has been on the field, and I think she's the only one today that has been on the field. And in a team uh, match like this, uh, perhaps before we get into that, you can just explain how it operates, how it works. So each team will shoot four arrows an end. Um, you can see that the team will sh first shoot two arrows, so one arrow per person. Uh, then the other team will shoot one arrow per person, so also two arrows. Uh, they do this twice until there's four arrows on the target uh, and they do that four times so you end up with 16 arrows the highest score wins if there's a tight score you shoot a shoot off and uh, yeah the highest score in the shoot off will win oh there we go a perfect start from uh, both teams there uh, so we're going back to this uh, advantage of having experienced the field of play but it's not just an advantage for boston who's shooting now she can pass on relevant information to her teammate. Yeah, if there's any uh, information that needs to be shared, uh, she could do that with her teammate, but uh, it seems like India has also found the middle already, so I don't think there's anything she could have shared, possibly. It might be nice for uh, for Demir to be on the field right now, and uh, uh, for Verma as well, for for Abhishek Verma to get some experience on the field before they can shoot this afternoon. Well, well yeah, I mean, uh, of course, the uh, compound men's event is coming up later on today, and uh, for this man, he goes in the first uh, the first quarter final. Yeah, against Braden Galantin, so that will be an interesting match. Long hold here. Just dropping a single point 
uh, for India. The only one dropped across the uh, first end. Uh, and they've been shooting exceptionally well. Both teams, a 39 out of 40, would usually see you winning it. But the Turkish team got the perfect 40. And uh, here we go, looking at those arrows. And we've zoomed right in. Yeah, the Turkish group is really, really impressive. Uh, two people shooting their arrows so close to each other is uh, is no small feat. Uh, India has that little bit of a little bit of a twitchy arrow in the uh, in the last uh, last arrow, and it went low. But for the rest, there's nothing much to say about it. Yeah, good shooting. Smiles on the, the faces of the Turkish okay, team. Looks like we're already Turkey leading 40, uh, ready to go for so the second India end is here. First. Uh, training Turkey team India second. will shoot first this time. Target one shooting first. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. My like crowd here looking pretty happy. That was a bit interesting. Yeah, so I lent on the uh, volume knob there, turned up the PA, but uh, I just waited a little while for India to get onto the line. It's a bit, uh, a bit weird. He seems surprised by it as well, but it seems like the wind has died down a little, and uh, yeah. he still managed to shoot an eight. Very Good wild shot, like but it's uh, it's pretty much perfectly in the middle. Ten for the Turkish team. The crowd remaining quiet during the shooting, but uh, making their presence known with that 10. Very smoothly put his arrow back on his wrist after it fell off. She has a bit of an aggressive style. Uh, she, she seems like she surprises herself with her with her own shots. Yeah. That's Jyoti Shereka Venom. This is Abhishek Verma. Oh, well, can yes in Boston keep up the perfect record so far for Turkey here? some ways it adds its own pressure because now it's Elma Ashley who's got to uh, keep up the tens. Which he does. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, another perfect score for the Turkish athletes thriving here on home soil. <laughs> Well, here we go with the uh, Turkish arrows. Look at this. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's great. Yeah, really fantastic there. All inside the, the 10 ring, a couple in the X. In fact, three in the inner ring of the 10. As we look uh, back at Yes in Boston. Uh, Demo Elm Mahdi. Really, really perfect shooting so far. Yeah, this shot wasn't so perfect, but it still hit the tip. Perfect in, in terms of the score, yeah. Chef. Uh, they lead by four at the halfway stage. 
and uh, well, they can't be dropping off any. Uh, you can't be. You can't. We don't predict that them to one drop first. their standard very much. So that four Rangers point clear. could already be enough. Yeah, it might be, but eight errors to go for There's a four points. It might be uh, back there. overcomable. Is that, a, is that a word? Overcomable is not <laughs> is it achievable, I okay, think. Okay. okay, range is clear. Overcoming that Shoot. is achievable, I would go with. Uh, but uh, the Indians trailing by four. It's not insurmountable. So trailing, they will shoot first, the Indians and they need to find the center and stay there. This surely doesn't help their cause very much. Tell us. Well, it's been tens all the way for Turkey. Bravo. No sign of it stopping here. And they're really laying it down now. They, uh, they want to still have a shot at this gold medal. Turkish team in Turkey, that's for sure. Is it possible? Could we see this? It, it has been done before, so uh, I would say it's possible. But Are we going to see a team getting a perfect score? One thing we know for sure is that it's not going to be a new world record because even if they would shoot four X's in the next round, they still have to shoot more. They have a really good group this uh, this end, but they're all a little bit to the left. Yeah, all looking at, uh, very, very tight. All four hours from the two archers uh, in red there for Turkey. And yeah, a little bit more spread. Yeah. Well, it's a five-point lead for Turkey. India, one we were shooting more first. on to go. We were shooting second. The win is well, not impossible. Target one is shooting first for India, but looks Range like is clear. Very difficult. So now Archers can shoot. Our attention to whether Turkey can get another four tens. India will shoot first, trailing as they do. There's a couple of archers to be. Again, not far from the middle, but it's just out. And if you're shooting against a team that just doesn't miss, it's not can I help your boss? It's problematic, yeah. <laughs> at best. 
गुड टाइम फ्रॉम अभिषेक वर्मा सीधे के जा रहा है बॉर्डर पे ही Well, I don't know about you, Chef, but I'm now nervous for the Turkish team. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see a 160 on TV. How big of a ten it is, but she looks seems, a bit seems nervous, to be she? seems to be on the left side again. <laughs> it was actually dead center. The first one was that one just a little bit lower, but we switch back to India. Maximum here of one fifty-four. Which is a decent score, I'd say. That one looks like it's uh, on the 9-10 ring, but we'll go to a measure. So now the moment of truth. Yes, uh, this is a golden opportunity for a perfect score for Turkey. Looks solid. And yeah. she nodded the head there. She knew it the moment she released that arrow. The pressure though here must be immense for Elm actually. And what a moment to lose your arrow off the rest. Under five seconds to go. Oh. He had to pull it at the end and <laughs> drop the last arrow to nine. It was a brilliant, a brilliant performance from Turkey. They were on for a perfect score, but superb shooting throughout. Turkey have taken it, beating India by 159 to 153. I, I wish I could read lips and speak Turkish and know what Yasin Bostan just said to uh, Demir Almagashi. So. Brilliant stuff there. Good handshakes all around between the two teams. At Turkey, uh, well, they played a blinder on home soil in front of a delighted crowd here in Samson. And the smile on Yeshin Boston's face tells all of the story for you. There is confirmation Turkey win the compound mixed team gold medal. Well, Chef. I, I don't I don't want to call what happened at the end, but it did seem like there was a bit of a twitch from El Ashley. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult to say how, like, what went on in his head and how he uh, didn't shoot a ten. But well, I'm they sure, shot tens I'm sure right he tried through. his best. Yeah, I'm sure he did. They shot tens all the way through, and uh, that's the last arrow from uh, Yeshim Boston, but this, I think, is the last arrow it is indeed. And yeah. just a twitch at the end there and shifted into the nine. Oh, so unlucky not to get the perfect score.